hi and welcome to another video i was uh, just cleaning my cooker and thought of bringing you along so as you can see i'd already started uh, cleaning uh, my cooker is a four burner three gas and one electricity and uh, with a lot of cooking it can get pretty ugly and all the oils and grease from the foods um, accumulate around the, the front door i'd already opened it and uh, as you can see um, there's a lot of grease that has accumulated on the on the glass and uh, i'm trying to remove it the degreaser is really working i'm not using water to clean this cooker um, you can see the sides are already clean. I've, I've already done most of it, but uh, the degrees are from Astonish. I just um, I just have to give them a shout out. Uh, it helps to remove all the build up uh, on the cooker from frequent use of food. Uh, experience their foods with fats and grease. Look at these guys. Um, is pretty uh, ugly this is an ugly scene over here but I can promise this degreaser is working magic so I just spray it on the cooker and um, leave it for a few minutes and then I will come back uh, I've already um, sorry I do the same for the, the glass uh, just soak it with the degreaser over there you can see um i've never opened uh, this place uh, since i bought this cooker so this is grease that has been here for about um i think six years six seven years now uh, since i started using this cooker um then uh, after using the degreaser, you can see I just use a, a, a soft um, paper to rub it off and it comes off so easily. No scrubbing, no use of elbow grease. You just rub it off slowly and it comes off. So uh, back to the door, um, I also use something soft to just uh, scrape off the grease. Look at how easily it's getting off. Um, just take your time and scrap it off. Make sure that you get all the corners. The build up was a lot a lot seven years of use never opened this door before yeah but thanks to the degreaser it really it's really giving me an easy work to do with this cooker now the handles are out um when you're opening this door, you really have to be careful. Look at the back, guys. Um, I've also cleaned at the back. There was a lot of build up there. Uh, oils and uh, dust. I, I also cleaned behind the space where the cooker stays. So things are looking pretty clean. Now, um... This is what I use for my oven, the oven cleaner, and uh, I will finish off this cleaning by using the window cleaner. I have already reattached the doors, 
and you have to be a bit careful with the door when you're screwing and uh, screwing back uh, be careful not to break the, the, the glass um, you can ask for help from someone to just to make sure uh, that the glass is safe yeah so this is how I cleaned my cooker it's already looking very clean and uh, the window cleaner on the glass part making all the difference look at my cooker guys looking so clean uh, before there was a lot of uh, food spilling down in between the glass it was looking so ugly and dirty um, but now it's looking pretty clean and fresh and uh, yeah can't wait to cook on it again but uh, hoping that uh, it will not get as dirty as before look at that so clean and nice and fresh um, I've not used my oven for a while so I did not clean it today I use it as storage for my pans please don't worry about that but um, it works it's a nice storage for the pans that are not in use often in the kitchen look at that glass very clean um, point to note do not use water to clean your cooker because um, uh, some parts might uh, get rusty because of water so it's advisable to to use um, cleaning detergents like uh, the degreaser from Astonish is really nice um, the oven cleaner is also pretty nice um, and to get the work done so yeah those are the products that I used today in this cleaning um, video my cooker is looking awesome um i also cleaned uh the hood uh it also gets uh, quite uh, a lot of grease um from the cooking uh, food and everything that goes on in the kitchen but uh, yeah everything is looking very clean and neat i hope you have enjoyed this video thanks for watching 